Greetings gamers, today's video is sponsored by Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle-earth. Heroes of Middle-earth is a turn-based mobile game set in the world of Lord of the Rings. You start the game in a familiar setting, as Frodo and Aragon are attacked by Nazgul on Weathertop. But in a twist to the story we are familiar with, Arwen shows up and attacks Frodo and Aragon. She is being manipulated by a shadowy figure, and Arendil then explains that this shadowy figure is attempting to rewrite history and thwart the efforts of Tolkien's heroes. You play as a ring bearer who must assemble a party of heroes from throughout Middle-earth to deal with this new threat. You can summon heroes such as Faramir and Boromir of Gondor, Feely and Gimli of Thorin's Company, and even Gandalf. In the light campaign, you'll play as the classic good heroes, but the game also has an unlockable dark campaign that will allow you to play as orcs, trolls, and goblins. There's also a guild campaign that allows you to mix and match both light and dark heroes in your party. No matter if you are good, evil, or mixed, your party must always have one assigned leader, and each leader gives your group a different passive ability. For instance, Strider's ability is called There Is Still Hope, and this ability grants stealth to the most wounded hobbit in the party whenever Strider scores a critical hit. Now this is an RPG, so of course you'll have things like leveling up, gear, and special abilities. I think the easiest way to show you that is to actually jump into some combat and play a round or two. I'll also show you what characters I have unlocked so far and what gear they're rocking. All right, let's jump in there. All right, we're jumping in the battle. Frodo says, what are those shadows? Orcs, orcs are coming. So this is my party. I've got Strider, or Aragon, as you probably know him, Frodo, Yothain, I hope I'm saying that right, and Lady Yowen. All right, so Frodo's special here is Darting Dagger. Attack the enemy for 110 damage, 50% chance to call a Hobbit ally to assist. That's cool. Um, we don't have any allies on our team, unfortunately. Any other hobbits, I mean. We got a Mordor Taskmaster here. Let's take him out first. Easy peasy. I might be a little overleveled for this mission. This grants uh, might for one turn to this character and one random ally. But we don't really need it because we can just go through these guys. Oh, cool. Strider's attack. I do want to show you. There you go. He hits with that torch. <laughs> Serious damage. That guy's like, oh, this is overkill. All right. So we went right through those guys. The Witch King has shown up. The Witch King of Angmar. The ring. He wants your ring. We've got the Blade of the East here. The Witch King. The Black Beast. We've got the Southern Shadow. And the Ravenous Gloom. All right, let's take these guys out real quick. Boom. All right. Oh, that one actually survived one of our attacks. This guy will not survive. The Black Beast is down. Oof. All right, we took some damage there. Elrond can actually heal, but we actually don't need any healing right now. Oh, geez, he survived too, huh? Uh-oh. Ooh, nice. <laughs> Nice AoE attack there from, who was that? The Blade of the East. You can see he's got Chilling Slash, 80% damage and 50% chance to inflict slow. Blackened Blade attacks all enemies for 100% damage. All right, and now we've got just one left. He's gonna take probably two shots to get down. And there we go. Easy peasy. I made it look easy, but, uh, oh, and there's the shadowy figure. It says, wounds may heal, but all will serve me in the end. Let's see, we got some gear. Cool. Um, and then you might be wondering to yourself, hey, why did that look so easy? And it's because my characters are pretty leveled up for that mission, but I did want to show you those enemies. We got Strider here. You can see what he's rocking. He's got chainmail on. I can upgrade his chainmail, it looks like. I already have some equipped. I can upgrade it if I have the right gear and parts. He's got his pipe, obviously. Uh, plus 70 health, 22 damage, and plus 10 armor. So nice little piece of gear. How do I upgrade this one? Resin. And so we can, uh, yeah, we can craft this up. Boom. Uh, great. And then I did also want to show you, I've got Ugluk, who is my first 
uh, dark side character that I've uncovered. And yeah, so that's kind of... And then you saw the other characters of my team while I was in combat. You know what? Let's go ahead and get a guild mission in here too. I'll show you what it looks like. So this is what it looks like when you're not too overpowered. I hope we can actually even win this, but let's find out. All right, who do we got? I usually get rid of the archers first. I just don't like them. Oof. Not gonna do it. All right, let's grant mites. And then he's got a chance to blind. Sure, let's do that attack. Oh, okay, good there. That guy's blind. Great. We might be able to one-shot this Gondor Knight, though. So let's try that before he gets any damage in. Oh, so close. He's burned. He's taking that burn damage. Jeez, 272 critical shot. That's why I tried to get rid of that guy. I thought he was blind. What happened? He just blind shotted me. All right. Uh, so not great first round, but let's... Uh, I think we could probably get rid of this guy for sure. No, what? Oh, man, that's bad. Was not expecting him to survive. Ugh. Let's try and one-shot this guy. Nope. I'm leaving too many guys alive. All right, let's get rid of this archer for sure. There we go. Orc captain does something. These guys are field medics. Oof. Wow, I thought we could one-shot a field medic. I guess not. Tough field medics, man. All right, we'll go for the weaker one. Oh, so close. Didn't quite take him out, though. Finish him, Frodo! Yo, we might lose our orc captain here. I'm not gonna lie. There we go. At least he got a kill in. Now we can use Provoke from our shield captain to try and uh, tank some of this damage that we're gonna take here. All right, what do we got? Gondor Knights. A Blade Dancer. I think we probably want to get rid of him first. I think he's going to land a lot of damage if we let him do that. Okay, we'll use Provoke so he draws some of the damage away from our Orc Captain, hopefully. Get him! Oh! Oh, so close! Oh, that's bad that we didn't quite get that kill. That's okay. Let's try and take out the Heavy Infantry. Yikes. He is heavy. Alright. We'll burn him. Get him, Strider. Nice! He's down. There we go. He used that Provoke, so he's he's aggroing that damage, just like he's supposed to. We saved Denethor for last, because I feel like he's going to sponge up a lot of damage and just take some time. Oof. There we go. Yeah, they're going to get a round of attacks in for sure here. Hey! Okay, one's down. We've only got one guy left. We're doing good. We got this. Wave two of three. He's exposed now. Nice. Let's take a look here. He's got commanding presence. Effects. Exposed. Armor is reduced by 50%. That's great. Good. Good for us. Did 115 to him. Let's see if we can finish him. Get him, Strider! Yeah, there we go. Okay, good. I'm feeling pretty good about going into this last round. Okay, let's take out the Blade Dancers first. Again, I just think they do too much damage to let them live. Oof. Should we grant Might? I think, I think it's better to take this character out and just avoid the damage instead of granting Might. I'm gonna try and blind this guy. Oh, I like... Oh, he kicks up sand. That's how he uses the blind. Interesting. Cool. Okay, we should be able to take this Blade Dancer out. Leaving only one enemy left. There we go. Critical hit. We did lose our Orc Captain. That happens. Orcs are expendable, guys. It's fine. And now this final Gondor Knight will go down. Whether he likes it or not. Dang, he's tough, though. That's why we saved him for last, because he's a damage sponge. Oof! Frodo! Dang, Frodo's tough. He's got that mithril armor, I guess. 
Nice counter attack. And then he's dead. And there we go, easy peasy. We get our loot. And yeah, so that's, that's the game. If you want to check it out, there will be a link in the description. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.